Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar with teddybaldassar.com. In this video, we're looking at a Hamilton with the new and improved Navy Scuba. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldassar.com as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout the video, if you want more information on this watch or you're looking to buy it, link in the description will be down below for the product page. But guys, let's jump into the video and take a closer look at this watch. When the average watch enthusiast thinks of Hamilton, it is the legendary khaki field collection that instantly comes to mind. But as is often the case when a brand has one undisputed icon, other subcollections and models have a tendency to fly a bit under the radar by no fault of their own. And while Hamilton definitely isn't a brand that comes to mind in the world of dive watches, the Khaki Navis Scuba has offered a solid option for a dive style watch for years. But for the hardcore diving enthusiast, the watch's pedestrian 100 meters of water resistance excluded it from consideration as a legit diving option. But earlier this year, Hamilton quietly upgraded the Navy Scuba collection with a new variant that offers a similar design format upgraded with a ceramic bezel insert, 300 meters of water resistance, and elevated finishing throughout. Now diving into a conversation on wearing experience presented by this watch, it'd be fair to say that this is going to be a larger option that is best on a medium to larger size wrist. At 43 millimeters in diameter, around 52 millimeter lug to lug, the watch wears true to that metric or perhaps even slightly larger, especially considering the bracelet end links are going to add to that virtual lug to lug metric of around 57.5 millimeters, but don't get scared, it does not wear that large. Luckily, the links are slanted sharply down towards the wrist, mitigating that effect, but this is still certainly a larger watch in keeping with some of the other professionally oriented dive watches out there. I would imagine a wrist size of around 7 inches or 17.8 centimeters and above that would be able to pull this one off successfully. Set between 22 millimeter lugs, the new Navy Scuba leans into a three link oyster style bracelet that is relatively well executed for the price, utilizing pin adjusted links while tapering to 20 millimeters and a milled push button deployant clasp. Somewhat strangely, given the more serious diving position, Position. Here, the class foregoes any kind of extension while also offering only two points of micro adjustment, meaning finding the perfect fit could be a challenge for some people out there. Taking a look at the architecture and finishing, we have what is generally the same curvaceous case shape familiar from the standard khaki navy scuba with sculpted integrated crown guards, simple 90 degree angles at the lugs, and an almost completely brushed presentation in terms of finishing. Polishing is utilized sparsely for an added degree of sparkle at the side screw down crown, the edge of the bezel bezel and on the outer sides of the inner bracelet links. The bezel itself is another area of novelty with this upgraded Navy Scuba, offering a unidirectional 60 click operation top with a ceramic insert that does well to aid in the perceived value coming in this piece, while also guaranteeing a more scratch free surface for years to come. Between the crown and screw down case back, the watch is certified for 300 meters of water resistance, directly attacking the elder Navy Scuba's number one drawback, while also providing the more than enough peace of mind no matter what aquatic activity you could throw at it. Taking a view of the watch's anterior surface, we have a flat sapphire crystal treated with anti-reflective coating, keeping watch over the dial that is subtly updated compared to the standard khaki navy scuba. While following the same general format with circular and trapezoidal applied loomed indices and doffing style hands, it is actually the primary dial surface that does stand out the most powerfully with this upgraded model. Rather than a basic matte or glossy effect, this dial is equipped with a very slightly granular texture paired with a fume or gradient effect is a nice touch that gives this a more dynamic feel in the changing lighting conditions while maintaining a legible package overall. This being a khaki, secondary 24 hour markings are still printed just within the indices and the dial text is relatively minimal as well with the applied Hamilton H and the brand word mark at noon and simply khaki and automatic at six. Where the basic Navy Scuba leaned into at times a polarizing 430 date window, this professionally oriented model opts for the clean legible layout enabled by foregoing the date altogether, a welcome feature on a dive watch in my opinion. Thickly applied on both the hands and the hour markers, the loom here functions well, though not class leading for a dive watch by any stretch. And turning this piece over, we have the broad flat screw down case back, adding a measure of protection for the Eta caliber lying within. Now inside this watch, we have the Hamilton H10, which is what Ed is going to call the C07.611, offering an impressive 80 hour power reserve achieved by slowing the beat rate from the balance from four hertz to three hertz, 21,600 vibrations per hour, while also reworking some of the gear train for increased efficiency. In addition, the entire balance assembly has been modified from a more traditional regulator pin setup to a more free sprung balance architecture. These calipers sometimes are called Powermatic by other Swatch Group brands like Tissot and have already developed an impressive reputation for durability, hardiness, and accuracy 
accuracy, having been included in millions of watches to this point. Speaking anecdotally to the accuracy presented by this example, this watch kept time between zero to plus two seconds a day when we tested across five different positions. And while you can't assume every single watch is gonna be running at this cost level of accuracy, I will say Hamilton out of the box does usually do a very nice job. So now to unpack looking at some of the pros and cons affiliated with this khaki navy scuba. To begin, the size is going to be larger with this piece. This is going to wear rather true to size, if not larger, actually probably does wear larger than what the case size is going to indicate. You are getting some upside in the process with some of the specifications, but that is what basically comes in tandem with that. So take that for how you will. Loom is also going to be just okay, not as bad as some of the other conventional khaki models out there that are more for the field watch side of things. But still for the competition, for those that are stacking this up against some other more professional dive watches, I do think you have to definitely knock it there. And then finally, only two points of micro adjustment and no extension in the class for those that want that full diving experience with some on the fly adjustment, that is also something to consider. But now moving into the pros, there are some significant steps up here when it comes to this watch. I think the dial finishing looks great. It does have this more gradient effect to it, which does add some more visual interest. But the two things that allow this watch to also separate are 300 meters of water resistance, a substantial step up of 200 meters more than the conventional Navy scuba, and also a ceramic bezel insert. Sure, is it going to be the utmost epitome of a dive watch in the segment? No, but is it a nice consideration for those that are looking for a dive watch from a great brand like Hamilton, absolutely. But all right guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon, that really does help. Also, if you're in the market for this watch, it is available on our website, teddybaldesa.com. We're an authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. And in addition to that, it is a great way to also support our content on our main channel. We don't take money from the brands that produce the content here. So that's just the best way to really support us and to allow us to continue to foster a new generation of watch enthusiasts in the process. So thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.